Coaches, the th biggest lesson of all is, if the child doesn't see the demonstration, he doesn't know what to do in this confusion. So they must see the demonstration. Are you ready, lads? Okay, so now I'm going to start from the very beginning, boys, to get your body structure for a hurler. So the first thing, coaches, is that the boy knows his lead foot. The lead foot is always the foot opposite a hurley. If he's right-handed, he leads with the left, and if he's left-handed, he leads with right. That gives him the balance. Good lads. Welcome. Are you playing? Fall in here, pet. Everybody's welcome. How many more quotes would you want? <laughs> An Arctic expedition starting this morning. So again, hurley at all times. Coaches, pay attention. Hurley at all times at right angles to the forearm. This is a basic, right? Okay, so this is the body structure that we want. Underarm throw, face high. So my face high is about there. So I throw the ball under, lead foot, catch and throw, attack the ball. This is a hurling stature, a hurling structure. My body is in a hurling structure. Are you ready? Now watch him now, see, has he got his lead foot organized? Where you go. So he's in trouble, isn't he? Because he doesn't have structure. He doesn't have structure. So he didn't listen to me saying, opposite foot to hurley for lead. This way now he's imbalanced. He's already imbalanced. He's going to fall over. So he needs somebody just to guide him for a few minutes. So boys, we'll be in pairs. 10 throws on, 10 throws off. One by on, one by off, 10 on, 10 on. Coaches, will you line up along the whole way? Go on, go on, give it over, 10. Now here we go. Hand over after 10, boys. Coaches, engage with some child. Coaches, engage with the child. That's it. Lead foot, lead foot. 10 on, 10 off, 10 on, 10 off. Get your goals. Okay, don't worry about... Yeah, he's coming, Grant. Okay. Coaches. Coaches, don't let children back off the wall. So hold them in when they're throwing. Hold them closer to the wall. You want to get the child's coordination right. It's face high. It's a free arm here. It's a free, there's a freedom here. You want to see this moving. You want to see this moving. It goes for the ball. No matter where the ball is, it goes for the ball. Big open fingers closing in. Okay, coaches. All in closer to the wall, boys, and get started. Excellent. Good man. Come on, get it going. Get it going. Face high and firm. Face high now and firm. Where's the ball? Where's the, where's the tennis ball? Where's the ball for this boy? <laughs> okay, U-shape fairly fast. A U-shape here, quickly. Ball, good boy, where you go? Now watch me coach, this is my position. Watch me coaching this boy, where you go? What can I see? I can see nothing. I'm uh, utterly useless for this boy. I cannot see his hand or his feet. I cannot see his facial expression work away. Now what can I see? Everything. Everything. So the coach that coaches from here may as well be that lamppost there. This boy doesn't know where you're standing. He doesn't know what you're doing or why you're talking. But in here, we can engage. Fire away. So what would I start with? Fire away, pet. Fire away. Fire away. Where would I start? Go on, off you go. The hurley up is irrelevant now. He's not at that stage at all. That's an end stage. That's an end stage. So a lot of coaches want end stage and they don't have? Yes. They don't have the platform. So what's the platform? The platform is down there. Come on, watch my feet. Lead foot. Now get your lead foot forward. Left foot, right foot forward. So watch me, stand at the wall, stand at the wall, and watch me and see, can you learn something about what we're trying to do? Are you watching my feet first? And then come up to my hands. Are you ready to go? See what he picked up. Go by. Where we go, coaches, you have enough information. <laughs> go on, run after your ball. Go on, get your ball. Run and get your ball, man. Run and get your ball. This is hardly match we're at. Here, we're short to coach. Lads, we're short to coach. Okay, U-shape. We're moving on. 
Every boy here needs a coach this morning. There's people back there and they don't know what's going on. They're talking away. They might as well stay at home. Get in there beside a boy and see what can I do about my coaching? What will this person teach me about my coaching? Now, who's ready? You ready? Okay. Anytime after three and before five, the ball is coming through. No warning. What did I say? Anytime after three and before five, the ball is coming through for you. Right. Be ready. One, two, three. Come on. One, two, three. Goodbye. Have you got it? Go away and get going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Coach, talking away. Good boy, now you begin to work. Begin to understand the challenge, good boy. That's it, you have it now. That's lovely. Good boy, coming through lovely. Coming through lovely. Good boy, coming, good man yourself, beautiful. That's it, now you're going great. Well done, well done, well done, mighty man. There you are, now there you go. First pair to 30 catches wins. That's it, you six, go on, go on, break it up now. Go on, raise it up now, six, nine, away you go. We got it, 30, well done. Now, a U shape. Okay, where's my man, here. Where's my man, come on. Come on, we're ready for work. Now coaches, the boys are now ready to start. They have enough now. So it's every second ball. I throw the ball. Coaches, 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 stay with the thing. We've done forward movement only, a little bit of back. Now we're doing lateral movement. So I throw the ball, break to my right, in behind, break to my left, he catches. Throw the ball. Pretend. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> Come on. So I'm 103 and you're finding difficulty and you're 13. Will you keep up with the old fellow, will you? Are you ready? Are you ready? So what does he need to know? Catch. He needs to know a down catch which he doesn't have. He's done a passive catch which won't work. The ball will never come handy. He needs that aggressive catch. He needs that aggressive catch. He needs that aggressive catch. Aren't you waiting for it? Well, are we ready? Tack the ball strong now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. No conviction there. So here we go. See the passive catch? No aggression there. You're coming. Change on. Change on. Now get your two boys in full rhythm. Five, four, three, two. You've got to practice talking if you're going to coach. Practice talking. Practice talking if you're a coach. This is a good group, is it? How many have they done? 3,000. Did you ever stop them and talk to them? Do you think the battery is going to die fairly soon? Are you ordering coffins? Okay. Okay. Coaches. Coaches. There's lots of action, but there's no coaching. Two boys start, and they're, they're still playing. No coaching going on. Are you ready? Are you ready? So watch, how many are they good for? How many are they good for before boredom and, and, and stupidity comes in? How many are they good for? Yeah, about 10 or 12. And then they need coaching and then they need 12 more. Then they need coaching and 12 more. Then they need coaching and 12 more. Now face high, good hard throw, face high. That's the boy, face high, face high. So we have two giraffes here. We have two giraffes who thinks their heads are up there. What does face high mean? Come in and see the wall. Come in and see the wall. Show me your face. Yeah, oh, that's what I thought your face was there. And you thought it was. There, why face high? Watch. This is a lazy load. It allows laziness in the body. It allows a lack of movement in the feet. Face high demands movement. It demands a different style of movement. Are you ready? There's going to be three of us in the line. Okay, watch my fastball, what it does for him. See what my fastball does for him. See, nothing for him. So the fastball by the server allows this boy to become a player. 
So coaches, no more than 12 without coaching. Go. That's a great throw. Now you're teaching him. That was a bit soft, wasn't it? That's a good ball. Yes, 12 done. Stop him. Coach. Coach him. Coach him. 12 and coach him. Hey, that's coaching now. We have coaching here. How are you going? Good. Well done. Well done. Oh, brilliant! This boy had brilliant hands. Coach, stop! This boy had brilliant hands because this boy's giving him dirty ball. You're the only boy giving dirty ball in the whole place and he's getting better by the second. So well done to you and fantastic by you. Okay, everybody go back to their second, second line of cones. Okay, so I run in. In my own time, I throw the ball. They're all going to miss the ball for a while. They're all going to miss. Show us. That's a great boy. Ready to go? One boy goes, then I blow the whistle, and the other boy goes. <laughs> Coach, take charge of you too. I'll blow the whistle. You helped him. Coach, coach, you have 20 seconds to explain. 20 seconds to explain what we're doing. 20 seconds, do it. Five, four, three, two. Good boy, fantastic. So we're watching this boy to see what state of readiness he's in. So I run in, deliver my ball, make my jump, turn, and away we go. Straight away, the ball is coming there. A foot over his head, hurling structure. He's getting his structure. He's learning without knowing he's learning. So coach, we're watching him see what state of readiness he's in. Here I go. In a big match, my eyes scan the field and find my free man. Now you're Henry, and that's the temporary goal, so be a bit, a bit awake, yeah? So here I go. I scan the field, find my friend, put him through. Put him through! Henry's here in front of goal, and no ball came. No one was in 50 miles of me, and no ball came. Where's the ball coming to this boy? Where's the coach is saying chest high? If you say chest high, you're not playing hurling. That's what we want to learn. Coaches, you have 20 seconds. <laughs> Boys, come on, he's waiting for you, he's waiting for you. He's waiting for you. He's waiting for you. Flash it out, flash it out. Good boy, flash it out, flash it out. Well done boys, we're ready to start. First pair to 12 will win. Do you get the idea? Do you get the idea? Now you're in the lead. You're in the lead, stay in the lead. Away we go. Get it up. Get it out there, get it out there. Get it out there. Get it out there and get it out to him. Well done, boys. Ready to go. Now you have to go out there and do a jab, rise, and throw and catch. Are you on? Jab, rise, throw and catch. Here we go. Jab, rise, throw and catch. Good boy. Place it for your friend. Okay, place it. What does place it mean? It rolls down the hill to Tipperary. What does place the ball mean? Leave it dead for your friend. Will you try it? Watching coaches. Place it dead for your friend. Now this is a dangerous game because there's boys coming and going. So the second boy cannot go until the whistle because we could have a clash of heads. All heads were up on the other one. We couldn't get a clash of heads. Now there's heads down. We could get somebody hurt. So when is the second boy to go coaches? Tell them that.
Five, four, three, two. Use your two hands for rising now. Okay, hold it there. You place the ball now for your friend. Otherwise, you're not a club player. So this is a great discipline, isn't it, coaches? It's not a great discipline that I'm playing for my friend. I'm playing for the club. So coaches, watch. As far in as they can go there. As far in as they can go until they're really, until they're really in control. Ten seconds, fix that. Your right hand further, yeah, that's it. Five, four, three, two. Hey, two hands for rising, man. Put it down, put it down, put it down. Bring your right hand. Fix his right hand there, coach. Fix his right hand. Fix the right hand. Good boy. Good boy. Will somebody teach that boy about the whistle? The reason, if a boy of 13 knows the reason for that, he will always do it. Without the reason, he'll be back there tomorrow. The reason, boys, is that you're beginning to grow. All of your limbs are getting longer, and if you want to stretch your hamstring, this is the ideal way. If you leave it there, you won't stretch your hamstring. And then you'll have hamstring trouble for the rest of your life, and some of your coaches could tell you what a horror that is. Yeah? So watch coaches. The further in, the more the stretch. The lower we can go. So here's my boy there. Come on. Come on. Let everybody see now what you're doing. Show me your thumb mark. Come further. No, come, yeah, he didn't go the whole way. Now that's about, about, that will give him a fantastic hamstring stretch hundreds of times and he won't even know, but when he's older, he'll have no problem with hamstrings, ever. Throw the ball to me and the camera will get you coming down. Go back. Are you ready? Now watch again, what's causing the stretch? What's causing the sit down? That's causing the sit down. Can you get the connection? You're not doing that because I said so, because I'm older and you're young and you must do what you're told. You're doing this because it'll stretch your hamstrings and give you a great life in sport. Now, do you see how low he has to go? But you see also the gain in efficiency? Do you see the gain in efficiency? He's more efficient, but he's benefiting his own body. So he's really efficient now, if we could get that. If we could get that down arm, down action, instead of that up action, then he'd be, the, he'd be a star player. Can you lift and grab down? So he lifts and has the passive hand still. That'll take the whole day. But did you see it there? The passive hand. The Kilkenny boy will have that gone. He'll just let him lift it and flick him. Because he's waiting. Instead of, instead of lifting, Tuck it away, the flick will come, doesn't matter, it won't hurt me, and I'm gone for my goal. Explain that to your boys in 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Now show me that right hand, keep shoving that right hand now. Further and further, further and further. Place your ball. Place your ball. Okay, are we ready? Okay, players, watch me. No matter what side you are, the toe of the hurley is away from your hip. It's always away from your hip. The reason is, when the ball comes up, you're ready to strike. You don't have to turn it over. In real matches, there's no time for doing fancies. So when the ball comes up, I'm ready to strike without any thinking. Show us what you're doing. Now, go back there and run. Now, run really strong into it, believe in yourself fully. Now you're right. Now all you need to know is what part of the hurley to rise the ball. The thin part. You're putting the thick part. I'm over here quick, quick to the camera, pick it up that. You're putting the thick part. He's putting the thick part to the ball, it's getting away. All he has to do is get the thin part around and the ball will slice up. Will you try that? Yeah. Try that so. 
See, that's the thick part. That's the thick part. Now, what will you do to get the thin part round? You see? Yeah. You'll have to move your hurley a little bit. You see what he's not able to do? He hasn't the knowledge. He's coming straight in like a good boy would. But he needs, he needs to turn the hurley a little bit for the tin part. Explain that to the boys. <laughs> You're not listening to people. They're helping you. Not listening. Help him again. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. You understood me? Okay. Okay, come up here. Come on, quick, 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 do it quickly. Okay, everybody watching, cameraman is ready. Now, this boy discovered the knack of just a little turn, a little turn for the tin part to face the ball. Otherwise, it's straight in, tick hits the ball, the ball gets away. Once the tin part comes around, can't miss. You showed him what you've discovered. It's just such a subtle movement. A lot of coaches miss out and blame the child. It's just a, so a soft thing. 10 seconds. Again, tell him again once more. <laughs> now, do you understand the benefit? Yeah. Cool, it works every time. Yeah. Okay, ready? <laughs> okay, very good. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Do you own this hand? Yeah. Does it take orders? Yeah. If you tell that right hand move in, will it move in? Yeah. Tell us and see. You tell it. Tell it. Move in. Yeah, you never told it. And it's staying out here the whole day like a bull doggy. This is your doggy that you have to train. We have four doggies to train. A right hand, a left hand, a right foot, a left foot. We have four doggies to train. If this does what it likes and this does what it likes, we're out of control. All the doggies must work in the team. So tell your doggies what you want. Now, you show us what you learned. Are you very close to it? Now we're trying to see, has he got this subtle movement to get the narrow point of the hurley onto the ball? It has been difficult, okay? He's getting, he's edging around the corner ever so slowly. That's coaching, patience, patience, patience. Ready, we're ready to move on. How does their skill will hold up at a higher speed? Very well done. Praise that boy coach when he goes back. You're nearly there, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, praise those boys. All right, you shape. Coaches dragging their backsides around. I'd rather be having me sashes. Now, this is subtle, so move into the wall here, coach. You might see it. You need to watch me very, very subtly now, boys and coaches. This looks really simple, but there's a lot of learning for the body and the mind. We start the game off, and then we try and keep it going. You're allowed one hop, one hop, one hop. Where's my friend? Is he coming in behind after 10? So we see the subtlety in the hand movement. We're watching the foot movement. We're watching the lovely right hand has moved down along. We're watching the lovely body structure. Okay, coach, you have enough knowledge now to go away and coach. 10 on, 10 off, 10 on, 10 off. Away we go. Now, let it hop once. Now he has lateral movement and he has forward and backward movement. So if he can't move back, he can't play. If he can't move lateral. So all the movements are in. Four movements. Away you go. Here we go. Step back. Good boy. Stop. Very good. Ready? Change after five, but the ball is in play all the time. After five, you run away. Uh, no, no, don't, have a, don't go a big one for five. Don't be going a big one for five. That's a good scoop up. Now get it back center. Get it back into the center. That's right. Now leave it to him. Can you see the subtlety that's happening? Without talking about it, it's happening. That's the key to coaching. Your eyes are picking up on stuff that's changing because of the exercise. First pair to 20 wins. Five, four, three. This is good work. Shut in your right hand, pet. Shut down your right hand. Now you're working. Now, that's it. Oh, brilliant. Good boy. You left it for him. That's the key. That's the key to the whole thing. Trust your friend. Shove in your right hand. Shove in your right hand. That's it. Now they're in action. Let it hop. Let it hop. Let it hop. Let it hop. 
Let it hop in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. They're coming, coach. They're coming fast. Ah, superb, superb, boys. Are they ready for every second ball now? So talk to them for ten seconds. <laughs> Don't do that, he'll do that. That's his job. That's his job, that's his job. You're his coach. Every second ball, are we ready? Are we ready? Every second ball, go around. That's lazy boys. Go around the body. Break right. Break right. Hey, break right. Who will be the first pair to get 16 in a row? If you miss one, you're back to zero. Are we ready? 16 in a row. Now break right, break right, break right. Hey, will you take off that coat off that pipe before he dies? Whip it off quick before he dies. You take it. Yeah, good man. How many 16s did we get? 17 is a good score. We're going to move on now to striking, boys. So we're going back to the second color. Make a big U there around me now. Okay. When the boy is going to strike the ball, he turns his hip to the wall. He has his 90 degree. The hurley swing is inside the body. It's inside the body. In there. All swings are inside the body. There's none of that anymore. That's 1940. Okay. These boys never even heard of 1940. So when you say a hard to a child, you can distort his body and ruin him. Hard is inside the body technique. So that hip faces the wall. He's under the crossbar, a good firm stroke. A good firm stroke under the crossbar. Okay. Have we got enough information? Always? 90 degrees to forearm. That's a crucial gauge of a hurler. Will it not move up? It did. Come on, people. It did move. The hand moved. The, there's a miracle has happened in Fingalians. A hand moved up the hurley. <laughs> this is a big day. Isn't it amazing how they're locked onto that, isn't it? How significant that is in their mind. It must be that they're a big man if they do that. It must be that. So the big hurlers in Croke Park now, nobody in Croke Park holds the hurley there for the last 12 years, nobody. They're all moved in. You just watch them on the videos. Nobody is holding the hurley there since 1998. They're all gone in, okay? So you get good balance in my hurley there. I have really good control. The next thing is, Make the boy face the wall and deliberately turn. Now we want the hinges moving. We want hips and hips and knees slighted. We want the weight transferring on the front foot. Are you seeing with the eyes in the back of your head? That's a good boy if you have eyes in the back of your head seen through a helmet. Aren't you? A mighty man. Now watch me again. The weight transfers to the front foot. Do you see the trailing foot? That means the weight has come from this side onto that side to give me some little bit of power. So again, if you can take all the information, 90, eye on the ball at all times, strike inside the body, collect the ball when it comes back, and go again. Each boy gets five shots. Each boy gets five shots. Wait, whoa, whoa, we have a boy. You're on your right, you know the rules. Here we go. Turn onto your right. Good boy. Beginning to come. Away we go, coaches. You have five minutes now with two boys. Five shots each. Away you go. Don't give him space. Work him in confined spaces. Now, you're coming lovely. You're coming lovely. This is coming beautiful now. Just trust yourself now. You have all the mechanics. All doubts are gone. All doubts are gone. Is that okay? Rubbed out. You're a good hurler already. Keep with him. Shorten his grip there, coach. The miracle might happen for two boys. Okay, we're ready to go on now. Everybody watching? So here we go. We now get, we're adding. So the boy runs in, 
turns his body, two skips and strikes. Okay, we'll do it again in slow motion so the boys will get it. He runs, halfway is in, he turns. Two skips and strikes. Okay, if he starts catching, that's good. But that'll come. We'll stay with what we're doing. Watch me. Run, that means forward running. Then you turn. Hip to the wall, two skips and strike. And if he catches, that's a bonus. Enough information? Yep. Where we go. Sometimes it'd be in your head and wouldn't go to your legs. It takes a while to come from the brain to the legs. No, run first, lads, run first. Lads, run first. Run straight first, then turn and skip. Now, that's nice work. Okay, coaches, we'll go back to the end. Run, turn, skip, strike face high. Low and hard, run, turn, skip, and strike. So he lost his strikes. Why did he lose his strike? We'll go again and see why did he lose his throw. Come on. Come on, somebody in Dublin might run soon. Are you ready? You're going to run? You have no doubts in your head anymore. Okay, run, turn, skip, and strike. Bad boy. So now the mechanics here. Okay, there's 10 poles up there. Bring them down, coach. 10 hurling poles, bring them on. Who's, the, who's my man? Do you walk every day or do you run sometimes? <laughs> Did you ever run before? Not since my first birthday. Now, this is a great tool for taking away the fear that Thomas had that he would miss the ball. So his body, Sean, 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 Sean running in, his body shows me that he's terrified of missing the ball. His shoulders go up, he gets tense and he's worried and his structure will never come. So Thomas back there, Sean back there. I don't know everybody in Ireland. That's a fact. I only know one million out of the four. Now, where I hold the ball is awfully important. The ball should be struck knee high or below. Knee high or below, this will change his structure. Run, turn, skip and strike. Did he turn? Back again. Run, turn, skip and strike. Shorten the grip. Run, turn and skip. See the structure changing and the fear gone. Go on again, watch the fear has left his shoulders. He's now looser. You see now? And then we can take him through the fear barrier and it'll be gone. Go again. Now three boys there, one, two, three. So you come in a row, the minute he's gone, you come. So the middle boy hit no ball. So he's so full of fear, his eyes are closed and he has missed the ball from something that happened when he was seven or eight. So come up here, up here quick. Come up here quick! Hold that. Okay. So coaches, make sure you see what's happening. Hold that. Okay. Their eyes shut. Boys here at six and seven putting in clashing. It's about six years or eight years too soon. And every time they come in this situation, the eyes automatically shut like the hand goes that way. They don't mean it. Nobody means to do it. But they, we developed that. And then when he comes in to strike the ball, his eyes are shut and he hits there. And he's a foot away from the ball and he'll never get the joy of scoring. He'll never have the joy of scoring. So again, make sure that you see. So he comes in. Give me the instruction, coaches. Short grip, 90 degrees. Give me the next part. Run. Forward running. When now? What's next? Hold that firm now. Turn the hip. Eye on the ball, eyes wide open, and make the contact. And make the contact. And make the contact. And make the contact. See, can you do it? So he's going for power. Who taught him that? All the trees of Ireland were cut down before the year 1000. They're all gone. So cutting trees is not hurling. Risty flick. He's distorted by an idea. Hard power. Gone into his head 100,000 times. And his whole body is distorted for power. And he's only a child. He couldn't be powerful. Show him again what you know now. Now to see the smiles are back in his face. He now knows this is good. See it? 
technique coming in. Now your three boys, get up your intensity. Get up your intensity. Hammer and tongs. Somebody has to be firm here. Somebody else has to be coaching there and there. So stand on the cone so nobody slips. My three boys get going, the rest of you get going. Now, come by, good boy, get up there. Get up there. Good boy, get off your court now, you're going to die. Now, you're not coaching. You're, holding. you're not coaching, he's coaching. So you focus on holding. You're coaching. You focus on holding. So don't coach. Don't coach, don't try and coach, let him coach. Go on. Get on a bit and run. We have to run first. Run first. So the, the truth. No, 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 he didn't do it. So he crabs or he runs. <laughs> Coaches, get the word power out of the coaching in Fingalians. Get the word skill and speed in. Replace power with skill and speed. Skill and speed, skill and speed, skill and speed. Cause skill and speed. Where we go. <laughs> skill and speed. That's fantastic. You keep showing everybody to do. Copy this. Okay, watch here. He's running through here. Hold on. Hold on. He's running through here. Every ball will go wide. He needs to come around. So he's toe to toe with you. At the point of strike, he's toe to toe with you. If he's not doing that, he's going to. He's a gifted boy, but he's going to be no good. He's neglected. Because he's a little better than his peers, he has bad habits discovered. When he meets top class guys, he'll be nobody. Can you win a little bit? Take power out of that. Take power out of that boy's head fast. Go away. Take power out of his head. Go away. Go down to him. Take power out of his head. It's a bad idea. Okay, you're watching. We know you're a smart boy. We know you're a gifted player. But it's all useless. Unless you get your body trained. That we're running here. At the point of contact, we're taught. Don't move it. For God's sake, don't move it. At the, you did. At the point. Don't move it. At the point of contact, we're taught to toe. At the point of contact, we're toe to toe. So spread your legs so that he can spread his legs. Okay? Now, if he's not matching that, that's what he's doing. He goes into Dublin squad, he's gone first day. The best boy in the whole place is sent home. Would we like that on our heads? No. Oh Lord, that'd be a tragedy, wouldn't it? Did you hear all that? Yeah. So what'll you do? Talk me through. Jog. So here we got it. See the difference in his whole structure? Now cut down power. Cut down power. You, you don't need any power to be a good hurler. Hurling is a game of speed and skill. Shorten your stick. Shorten your stick. Just forget about power. Just get the word out of your head. Speed and skill. Speed and skill. Speed and skill. Speed and skill. Okay, you hold there, coach. Hold there. You shape. Now, watch. We put the ball lower and we ask him to put it over the crossbar. That means his body structure has to shift. Are we ready? Lower. Good boy. So now what will I do, boys? How will I get under that ball? Are you a boy? You didn't answer. How are we going to get under that ball? Bend the knees. Bend the hips and get the wrists working. Get the ball over the bar. Get the ball over the bar. Get the ball over the bar. See the challenge? <laughs> See, this where, this where it hits the wall. That's where the ball hits the wall. Over the bar. Over the bar. Over the bar. Now, gradually, he's understanding the purpose of this. Where we go? Go to work, coaches. Okay, boys, do you understand fully now? How you get the bottom down, the lower the bottom, the higher the ball. That's the theory. The lower the bottom, the same as you're taking a sideline cut. It's how low can you get the bottom? Shorten your stick. Now, where you go? Now, you were that much shorter than the crossbar, so the next time this has to go, has to go deeper. Yeah, you got to practice. You understand it now. You didn't get it over the bar. You didn't get it over the bar because you have to go to the bottom lower. You got it now. You got it now. You're a good learner. You're a super learner. You're a fast learner, so go on and enjoy yourself. Have you got it, Sean? 
Uh, three boys in a line, get your ball, we're ready to go. We'll take it from theory to practice. So the ball is struck knee high or below. The ball is struck knee high or below. Do you see what I'm at, boys? We're continuing the theory into practice. You strike the ball knee high or below. See what you learned, right? Where did he strike the ball, coach? He struck the ball here, so get it down below his knee. Where did he strike the ball? Head high. He's striking the ball head high. He doesn't understand one word we say. Now, this boy has it. This boy. Do you feel the total difference? See? Do you feel totally different? The ball is now behaving. It just comes back to you without even talking to it. Do you see it now? Yeah. Now make him catch it when it comes back. Don't leave him sticking out early and doing that kind of fool. His, his feet aren't learning. His feet aren't learning. That won't learn his feet. It looks good, but it won't learn your feet. So here we go. Have your room. Hey, that's fantastic now. Fantastic. See the difference now? Yeah. Ball is going a mile now. No matter how much he looked for power, he wouldn't get the ball to move. So power won't move the ball. It is. And, and knowing how to get the hip out front so that the wrist can, can kick. You're shining now. I forgot to look at you there. How are you going? Hey, this is superb. Who's in charge of this boy? Give him a big clap in the back. He's got the message. They won't clap you, or I will. I'll give you a clap in the back. They're all so mean they wouldn't clap you. That's the style. See the style coming in. Good boy. Now take the fear out of him. Take the fear out of him. Everything is good. Now, you got to run in, jab lift, and get your shot away. Now, are you ready? Where's the surgeon? Come on up here. Run! Hey, that's not running. That isn't called running. What did I say? Run. What did you do? Jump. Yeah, why? I don't, know. I don't know either. So now run this time. Back to the wire. Are you ready? Jab rise, strike, and catch. Did he get his hip around, Surgeon? No, not yet, but in a week's time, you'll have him through. It doesn't go from the brain to the legs automatic. Okay, bring in the balls, bring in the kids. Okay, what did we learn? That body structure comes first. Confidence comes second, and technique coming from the brain to parts of the body is a slow process. If that's not mine, pet. Now watch. If a boy has that habit, it doesn't go to that without a coach. It doesn't go from there to there without a coach. It doesn't go from there to there without a coach. It doesn't go, the striking doesn't go from there down to there without a coach. So forget about power. It's the worst word. It's the most offensive word in a child's world. When they're 20, 25, they'll be strong. Don't be asking 12 and 13 year old boys to be strong. They can't be strong. So go for technique. Hurley twirling. Hurley twirling, Harley twirling. If the Harley is twirling, he's away with it. If it's not twirling, his career is already on the down slope. He will not do this after 14. Is that learned? He cannot do this after 14. It's permanent in the brain. All right? So now we have 10, 11, 12, three years to get that going. You're gonna show me. Towards the wall. Let me see the twirl, shorten that stick. Did you ever shorten that stick for anybody, ever? No? Are you Mr. Stubborn? Are you? Are you the, are you the world's most stubborn boy? No. No, of course you're not. No. That's perfect technique. Now boys and girls and uh, coaches and women, thank you all for giving me permission to come here today. Some of you think some of that is below the children. All we did today is at the children's level. Everybody's ahead of the children, they're treating them like men, and they're destroying our boys by the thousand. Would you leave them be children for another year or two while they can be children? Would not be a great promise in Ireland. Let children be children. And then when they're adults, hope they're all still playing, yeah? Thanks everybody. Thank you.